Hi, welcome to Unique Minds. In this video, we will solve some verbal questions for COGAT level 9, 10 and 11. To start with sentence completion, always read the sentence very carefully first. Understand what is the intended meaning by the author in that sentence. Understand the tonality of the structure of the sentence. Is it indicating, a, is, it, is it taking a positive tonality? Is it connoting a negative meaning? Are there any comparisons and contrasts? And mentally fill the answer first before looking at the answer options. Once you fill the answer mentally, look for the best synonyms and eliminate the irrelevant answer options. To start with, let's answer some of the questions. Please take a minute and answer this question by yourself first. Right. So Ashley is very angry and something else at her friend who lied to her. Ashley is angry at her friend that she lied to her. So what else she could be feeling? She could be feeling angry and unhappy. She could be angry and annoyed. Right. So uh, she can't be angry and happy. So definitely it's not happy. It's not funny and it's not ecstatic. She could be curious. She could be curious because she may want to know what led her friend to lie to her. But but among furious and curious, furious is a more intuitive option here, is a more possible option here. And therefore, curious is what we are eliminating. And often in these kind of questions, it happens that the last two options will be little difficult to eliminate and you have to really understand which of the which of them will really fit in, in, in terms of the meaning of the sentence and the overall tonality of the sentence. Please take a minute and answer this question by yourself first. Okay, the author dedicated the book to his teacher. Why would somebody dedicate a body of work to, to a particular person? We would want to appreciate them. We may want to thank them, right? We may want to make them feel valuable. We may want to give them credit. So oh, it is from, from that meaning perspective, if you look at the options, it's definitely not donate. It's not understand and it's not approximate. It could be fathom. Uh, the meaning of fathom is trying to comprehend something, trying to understand something. So even fathom is not possible. So acknowledge best fits the uh, blank in the sentence right now. Now moving on to verbal analogies. Please look at this question and answer this by yourself first. Okay, if persuade is convinced, then what will heal be? Heal is to repair oneself, is to is to repair from is to is to recover from something, right? Recover or repair. That's the exact meaning of it. And uh, definitely, it's not going to be eyed or aged 
or left it cannot be loved right so cured is the closest meaning uh, is the best intended meaning that fits within this analogy please take a minute and answer this question by yourself first okay precise exact and specific are a pool of words which are indicating that you have to be right you have to be correct correct right uh, like or or have no error okay this is a, this is the intent, this is the kind of meaning in which these general pool of words are falling into so it can't be defective it can't be flawed it can't be weak it can't be predictive right so accurate is being right within a certain error margin maybe right so that fits the uh, exact uh, that fits into this pool of words for one on one personalized classes or for to learn more anything more about us please visit uniqueminds.com